Hi there! Next I'm going to show you how to sharpen an Archie SGES style drill point on our Sharper Drills DGS09. Uh, as an example we use a parabolic drill which has a Nachi point on it. It's a 135 degree drill point and in order to start doing that we first need to check if the machine is set up correctly. We have CBN wheels installed that is fine for all types of drill material other than solid carbide. Now we don't have a solid carbide drill here so the wheels are set up. Next uh, is to set up the port for the right angle. The grinder was used to sharpen 118 degrees uh, drill so we need to reset the ports. We unlock the port and slide it to the 135 degree position. We lock it back into place and do the same at the other side. Hundred thirty five degrees. Okay, the grinder is ready now. Next we need to set up the drill. The drill is sharpened using a grinding chuck. We open up the chuck. It is clamped using two collets. It clamps on the flutes of the drill. The collets give exceptional concentricity, so the drill runs very concentric and provides very nice round holes. We need to find the collet which fits best the drill, the smallest collet we can find, which in this case is our half inch collet. We need to insert the collet in the holder. For this we use a 45 degree angle to insert it into the clip at the collet holder, like this, that it kind of clips in. We close the collet and we insert our drill. We slightly tighten it, but it still needs to move back and forth, but it's not very loose. Then we need to set up our grinding port. For this first we dial it to the zero position, turning it clockwise. Then we need to dial in the size of the drill, which is in for a half inch size drill in this case. Now we are ready. We insert our grinding chuck into the port, slightly tilted, and we push against the end stop and we rotate clockwise against the angular stop. We do exactly the same with the drill. We push the drill forward against the stop and rotate it around against the end stop and we close the grinding chuck. We rotate slightly back and pull it out of the port. The drill is set up, clamps very close to the tip. We need to check the setup. The check is that the cutting lip is parallel to the edges of the grinding chuck, which we need to do optical. For the beginning we have a tool which we supply with the grinder. You can just slide that over the grinding chuck and through the window we can see how the lip is oriented. If it's within 5 degrees of the horizontal line we are fine. In this case the drill is perfectly set up. We can put our tool away, switch on the grinder and start the grinding process. Now each uh, cutting edge is ground separately with this step approach. First we insert it in port number one and we rotate till the grinding sound disappears. We turn the drill around to the other side. Repeat the step. It was very quick. Cannot make any mistakes. Next we put it in port number two, let it fall against the stop and rotate it against the stops. Repeat that on the other side. We are done. Next we put it in port number 3, which grinds the cutting lip. We push it against the stop, guide it by the pins, rotate it 180 degrees and do the next side of the flutes. We are done. And now comes the final grind in port number 4. Slightly let it just fall in, till the grinding sound disappears. And we do the same on the other side. Okay, we are done. We can switch off the machine and check our result. 
looks to me like a perfect nicely sharpened new Nachi drill point. It is very easy. Now we can take it out of the chuck. If we have badly worn drills we might need it a second time. We just repeat this step. But as you can see it is very simple to do. Thanks for your attention.